Tell me about yourself. This will be probably the most common question that you'll encounter on your residency interview. In this video, we'll go over some strategies that you can utilize to ace this question and your residency interview. So what can you include in answering the question, tell me about yourself? Your background could be the first thing that you can talk about when answering this question. So you can talk about the culture you grew up in, which country, which state, the relationship that you have with your parents, what do they do, your siblings, if that means a lot to you. So every point that you're gonna mention in your answer has to fit a theme that you're trying to convey to the person interviewing you. The second thing you can talk about is any interesting event or impactful events that happened to you across your journey to college or medical school. So if you played sports competitively, if you uh, were a musician, if you had art experience, or any very interesting experience to you could go in the tell me about yourself answer because these things again mean a lot to you and you can talk about them to convey who you are as a person. And the tell me about yourself, it's important to follow the show not tell principle, which means try to convey your characteristics without specifically saying them. So instead of saying I'm a team player, you can talk about your sports experience, which convey that you are a team player. By mentioning that you are a competitive sports player, that means that you worked very hard, you practiced very hard to reach that level of proficiency which means that you are hardworking. So you don't need to say I'm hardworking by telling that story about you being a professional player or any other interesting event that happened to you that can convey that same characteristic. Then you can talk about your college experience followed by medical school experience or if you went to med school directly, you can talk about your medical school experience. And here, you're not gonna mention I learned this and I learned that. You're gonna talk about mainly how you started developing interest in the specialty without mentioning all the details that are reserved for that question, which is why did you develop interest in the specialty or why do you like the specialty? Here, when you're mentioning it as part of the tell me about yourself, you're mentioning briefly to build the whole scenario of your journey, starting from your background, going to the interesting experience or your college experience, and then going into med school and why did you develop passion for that specific specialty. Any of the events or the experiences that I mentioned for the second point could also go here during your college and medical school experience if they happen within this timeline. Generally, I recommend your experiences and life events to follow chronological order, so if things happened uh, first, you can start with them and then move on to the next one and then the next one based on when, when they happen in your timeline. For international graduates, you can talk about why did you become interested in coming to the United States? What did you do in the US? Did you do any US clinical experience? Did you do any research experiences? But be very, very careful here. The answer to tell me about yourself is not a repetition of your CV because they have your CV, they know your accomplishments, they know your scores. Here you're trying to talk about the US clinical experience or your research from the experience standpoint, which is not included in your CV. So you can talk about the interactions that you had with people and why this experience was important to you. And at the same time, it can convey the strength that you are now exposed to the US healthcare system, you are exposed to research, you are interested in doing research, which is very important for academic programs. And the same apply for US applicants who did research or did some volunteering experiences that are very impactful to them and they want to mention it in the tell me about yourself answer, you can also include it as part of your medical school experience if these happened within medical school or afterwards if they happened after. But again, be very careful here. These are not a repetition of your CV. Here you're talking about the experience and why this is important to you as a person and is important as part of your career. Now let's move on to a few other tips that can help you answer this question. First, try to keep your answer between one minute and one minute and a half. Try to be very concise and go to the point rather than a very long answer that might be boring to program directors. Second, don't memorize your answer. It doesn't look nice when you memorize everything and tell your answer as if you're a robot. Try to make it more natural, more spontaneous, but also prepare. Spontaneous doesn't mean you don't prepare. So generally I recommend that you do bullet points on the paper, maybe you memorize these. So you know the points that you wanna hit with this answer, but you have not memorized it. So making bullet points about the ideas that you wanna discuss in this answer will help you prepare for it without seeming robotic or that you memorize the answer. So for example, your bullet points might look like, I grew up in Afghanistan, survived the war, moved to the US, worked as a physician assistant for a few years, started doing research, applying to residency. So the applicant picked these points from their life events to convey to the program director or the person they're interviewing with 
without telling their whole life story or without memorizing the answer. So they know what they're gonna cover, they've practiced that before, but they did not memorize every single word that they're gonna tell the program director. And finally, tailor your answer to each program you're interviewing with and even to each person you are interviewing with. Somebody who's interested in research, you can add the bullet points about research. Somebody who is not interested in research or who doesn't have much research on their PubMed, you might eliminate the research and talk about something else. If you see on their profile they're interested in using and you play music, you can talk about the music there. If you're someone who uh, grew up in a country neighboring to your country or have done some mission trips there, this is another point that you can mention now. So the answer to the tell me about yourself question is very fluid and dynamic. It's not you have one single answer to all your interviewers, to all your programs. That's why I said you have to have some type of bullet points or ideas that you wanna discuss and then you can tailor it based on the interviewer and the program. And remember, this is a mistake I commonly see with residency applicants is that they tell their whole life story. The interviewer doesn't wanna hear your whole life story. They wanna listen who you are as a person. They don't wanna listen to your CV and not every single detail that happened to you. They don't wanna uh, listen to your hobbies if they don't mean a lot to you. I've seen some people who just fill the, the points that I talked about. For example, the applying to med school, uh, journey in med school, interesting life events, hobbies and interests, research, US clinical experience. So they make an answer to each point and then they present it in the tell me about yourself. I'm telling you about this point because these are the possibilities that you can include in your answer. But you don't have to include each single one of them. You include whatever makes a story that represents you as a person. So be very careful in choosing these points. And that's why I always recommend if you don't have a professional advisor or someone you can prepare with, I highly recommend doing that. Because you might think that the answer is ideal, but you're wasting your opportunity to match. Remember, interviews are number one, two, three, and four when ranking applicants after you receive an interview, if you look at the NRMP data. That's why if you need help, reach out to us. We have an amazing team that can help you prepare for your interviews and help you tailor that answer to different residency programs. That brings us to the end of this video. If you find any value in this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell sign so you get notified whenever I post future videos on my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below, or feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or Twitter at Malki Asad, my Facebook page Malki Asad MD, or our email info at thematchguide.com. If you're interested in our interview preparation session, go ahead and check the interview preparation packages we have on our website thematchguide.com and I'll leave the link for that in the description below. Thank you everyone so much for watching and good luck on your interviews. Peace.